Bara bara she. Bara baso go se. Bara vuniye mi viti ni bjuma. Bara bara vuye mutu kwa mabuji. Uyumu sirero nuko kuiboka itemba 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 bogo kuko ni itemba itemba. Welcome to Wanapedia, your one-stop center for Uganda's history and the history of the rest of the world. The name is Tony Geoffrey Owana, and in charge of the technicalities and technology is Herbert Simeon. We are urging you to stay safe if you want to continue to be part of this historical process of reliving our past. And you can only do this by following the guidelines that your governments have put in place to protect you from this deadly killer COVID-19. In Uganda, we are doing it by staying inside the OERI's Ark until such a time as when the dove that is sent to spy the situation comes back and says the COVID waters have subsided, then no more business can resume. But for us, we are not on leave. In this lockdown, we have continued to keep serving you. And this time round, we are back to a very, very important period in the history of the sister republic of Rwanda. The date 7th April is very important in uh, modern day Rwanda because it is on this date that the, the terrible genocide of 1994 began. It claimed almost a million people of the various communities there, mainly the Tusis. When it is celebrated every year, it is known in Kenya Rwanda as Kuibuka. If I don't pronounce it very well, don't attack, because I'm definitely not a Rwandan. Now, Kuibuka means to remember. And that should not surprise us who speak these dialects, because in uh, Runyachitara, it is Kujuka. In Luganda, it is Kujukira. And in uh, East African, or Swahili, it is Kumbuka. So if you look at the play of words, they are in sync with the idea of remembering. So the first anniversary of the Kuibuka was held in 1995, and it is on that occasion that there was a mass funeral of the victims of the genocide. Uganda was represented by Vice President Specioza Wandila Kaziwe. But when the event began, it was opened by the President of Rwanda, uh, His Excellency Pastor Abizimungu, who spoke in Kinyarwanda, but the gist of his speech was that it was important to remember what happened in order to avoid a repeat. Let's take you back to Chigali on the 7th of April, 1995, only on Owanapedia. <laughs> The criminals of genocide included the Interahamwe, the Presidential Guards and the Army. They used machets, burned victims, and buried people alive. Thousands were herded into churches, doors sealed off, and grenades tossed through the ceiling, blowing them up. Hands and feet of victims were tied and thrown into the rivers. This well-prepared mass killing was inspired by the rulers and the biggest part of the population became the instruments of its implementation, thus smearing blood on the entire population. Mild but similar occurrences have been part of the history of Rwanda in 1959, 1963-4, 1966, 73, 91 and 93. 
These happenings have left a deep scar on the hearts and minds of the people of Rwanda. Today, they are suffering materially, socially, and psychologically. Most of them believe that the world deserted them in their greatest hour of need. On the 7th of April, 1995, African leading personalities and leaders converged on Chigali, capital of Rwanda, to remember the victims of genocide and bury them. Among these were the Vice President of Uganda, Dr. Specioza Wandera Kazwe, and the Prime Minister of Burundi, the Right Honorable Anthony Nduwayo. While addressing the mourners, the President of Rwanda, Pastor Bismungu, insisted that justice will have to be done based on reconciliation. Barabasogo <laughs> Murakoze. Nta nubwo abanyarwanda bapfuye bose bizashoboka kubashyingura. Tuzi ko bamwe babaroshye mu byobo no mu nzuzi zisohoka ziva mu Rwanda. Duhereye kuri imiramba ariko bene iyo ndetse bamwe tutazi turashaka kwibuka. Uyu ni umunsi wo kwibuka. Urwibutso ndetse rukazaba niririmbi tuzahora twibukiraho imbaga y'abantu yazizagatse mukururutsa iyi mirambo mu buruhukiro bwayo turashaka ku buryo bw'ikimenyetso guha imva abantu bose baguye muri aya marorero uyu munsi rero Nuwo kwibuka itsemba tsemba itsemba bwoko nitsemba tsemba Tariki ya 7 mata izahora ari kivuga Umwaka rero urashize inteko zabicanyi zitangiye guhinga guhiga inzira karengane zibazizagatse Bahize abatutsi aho bava bakagera ngo barabaziza ubwoko bwabo Bahiza ariko nabandi bari bafite ibitekerezo byanga iryo tsemba bwoko ndetse bakindagura nabo bavaga indimo biragaragara rero ko abantu bose bazize bimwe bamwe mu budu singuru uyu munsi ndetse benshi ntabwo twashoboye kumenya amazina yabo hari bake twashoboye kumenyera amazina barimo nabo ngabo banze ko urwanda ruhekurwa uhitwajwe ngo barakora itsemba bwoko harimo ministre w'intebe uringiye uringiye imana gata harimo ministre nzamunamba ho Frederico harimo ministre ndasingwa randuard na numuryango we wose Harimo député Kabageni Venantia, Harimo Kairanga Karori, Harimo Munyamashaka Kamea Andre, Harimo Ngango Feliciani, Harimo Nartaremara Jandola Kurwa, Nabandi Bata Shatsi, Nga Rugamba, Kotuba Singurahan. Abo vous Sariko Muko Navivuzi. Bose bazize itsemba tsemba. Urwibutso rw'uyu munsi kandi nuko abapfuye mu itsemba mu itsemba bwoko ni itsemba tsemba bazize ubutegetsi bubi bwa politique. Ubwo butegetsi bubi abandi babisobanuye buvangura abanyarwanda rukabashyamiranya bwazanywe n'ubutegetsi bwa gikoronize. Kuko mbere yaho 
nta mahano nkayo yigeza aba mu Rwanda maze birara mu banyarwanda babacamo iminkwi bakwiza hose amahame abuza kumvikana no kuba bene mugabo umwe na mbere y'uyu mwaka ushize mu byukuri hagiye habaho ubwicanyi busa n'itsemba bwoko n'itsemba tsemba byabaye abakitse kwicumu bakibagirwa bagaceceka bakababarira ariko ntibigira icyo bihindura Immediately after the genocide in 1994, Bizimungu became president of Rwanda, lending a considerable weight to the RPF's insistence that it was not a Tutsi organization. Kagame became vice president and the RPF chairman was still Colonel Alexis Kanyarengwe. In the year 2000, Bizimungu was replaced by his vice president, General Paul Kagame, who remains in charge to date. In 2001, Bizimungu started a political party whose activities soon attracted charges of endangering the state, for which he was jailed for a total of 15 years in 2004. However, on the eve of the Kuibuka Genocide Memory of 2007, President Kagame pardoned Bizimungu in an apparent gesture of reconciliation. To cut a longer story short, Pastel Bizimungu is no longer in the limelight, but at the 1995 Kuyuka, he delivered this very moving speech. You are wondering who spoke next? Maybe I didn't tell you. This is in three series. What you have seen is part one, and those who spoke in the next part, you will only be able to see them if you stay away from COVID and stay tuned to Wanapedia. But to give you a hint, there was Vice President Kazwe and later on, Vice President Paul Kagame. Don't gasp, he was Vice President at that time and you'll only confirm this by staying tuned to Wanapedia and you stand greater chances of more benefits from this channel if you subscribe. Thank you.